<laughs> Everyone see this? You guys got this? We're mugging the same today because it's Saturday with Shala. And we get to talk about um, the concept of what is your why? So, <laughs> dearest Shala, what is the concept behind what is your why? So the concept behind what is your why is, so the whole superhero industry, right? It's been a big deal for like the last two decades or so, <laughs> if not more. Um, and what I think is the reason why is because our, when we're watching these amazing epic heroes and these amazing villains that we love to hate, that the reason that we look up to them is that they understand their why. And their why is their big motivating factor. When they get kicked down, when Captain America, you know, loses his shield and gets kicked down, the thing that keeps him going is the fact that he understands his big motivating factor and gets up again. And the, the villains are the same way. They understand their big motivating factor and they keep going as well. They keep moving forward, even when they get knocked down. And as the audience, and for many of us, that is something that we yearn to, to know about ourselves. What is our big motivating factor? I, if I knew that, I could do anything in life, is what many of us maybe, maybe subconsciously think. And maybe some of us consciously. And I, that is why it's important to understand your why. Well, and, you know, even if you're a person that can't relate to, you know, the superhero analogy, it's the same concept of, say, you want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you are doing everything right in the book. You're eat regular regularly exercising you're eating all the fucking salads in the world you're doing everything that you know to be true based on what you've been told but then you get really really frustrated and so in the aspect of knowing your why it's not necessarily that you want to lose weight it's the fact that you maybe want to have a better health chart or that you want to look better or feel sexier or move better or have less aches or more energy, right? Like this is your example of what you want, your desired state outcome. But understanding your why or your come from is the crucial, crucial component in allowing us to, you said something earlier about um, like giving and receiving. Can you repeat that? So when you understand your why about, love and support because your why is always comes down to being loved and being supported in some form or fashion it's just understanding the circumstance around that and how you relate to that love and support and how you want it to show up in your life but many times the very thing that we want is the very thing that we will give once we understand it and once we're giving that same love and support in the world we receive it back yeah, and I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, for me personally, my why is always my come from place that is truly honoring who I am, what I want, who I want to be seen as and experienced as, um, and just really kind of being aware of not coming from a place of expectation and obligation. and. Um, you said something so crucial that I loved too. So Shal and I have been coaching for years now, right? Like, mm -hmm. and before we hopped on, we were kind of giggling about this aspect of, you know, what's your why? And she, she literally said, like, I feel like I need to redo or like, I need a discovery call to just like for recap me. in. Yeah. <laughs> she, she admitted like, I feel like I need a discovery call to even just get reacquainted with what my why is. And I'm bringing this up because A, we are constantly evolving. We are like 
constantly evolving on steroids, her and I, as are you, whoever's watching. But it's important to know that like your why can change, right? Like, And it will why, often. <laughs> it will often. But then also know that discovery calls, whether you work with a coach or not, can be very, very powerful mm -hmm. in allowing some clarity and some resetting and um, just opportunity for, again, moving forward, creating and um, daring to be seen or heard, I guess, per se. And Shala and I both do that. So if you're hearing the term like discovery call or something and or you're like- Or breakthrough call. Yeah, like, and you're thinking, well, what the fuck is that? Like, there's no, what, that wouldn't work. It, no, it actually does. It's very, very nice. Um, and we as coaches do it with each other often and regularly and just know that that is an option for you. Um, is there anything else you want to say about what your why? About my why? Um, recently, from what I can gather about my why, is that it's all been based about fully loving myself in every aspect. And a big part of that has been removing my filters. That's been my biggest motivating factor that I can consciously like um, come to right now. What is filters? The filters of life. So like the masks that you wear. This is the very thing that my, um, my, is based on so i'm i'm in there walking the walk and talking the talk and doing it for myself and focusing on it for myself so when you remove these masks you've got all these filters for the world and what i'm doing is trying to remove these filters little by little so no matter what situation no matter what people i'm around it is always the truest shallow that you see and that you get here to date to date and it is consistently gonna evolve consistently because who i am right now is not the same shala that was sitting here five minutes ago i've already evolved like already changed and so have you yep and i think that is something that's really really important if you are a parent if you are in a relationship if you are going through college or are in high school right like if you're retiring, if you're a parent that's now an empty nester, mm -hmm. I just really, really invite you to understand the concept of like, we are constantly evolving, you are constantly growing and changing, and you are perfect as your most true authentic self. And to be okay with allowing that version to be seen and heard and knowing that if you don't even know what your why is, or if you're stuck in this stagnant place of living, or you're frustrated, or you're overwhelmed. Or bored. <laughs> I'm serious, bored, boredom is latent anger. It's just anger that's just been sitting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to just know that maybe just breathe, like we talked about a couple weeks ago, and just breathe on the fact that your why is really, really important and it will allow you to attract more of what you want and up level your experience in which you are living. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alyssa. That's all I have. Do you have anything? I think that's a perfect place to stop. Okay. Well, I love you. Thank you for joining. Um, and to any of the viewers out there, just keep being you boldly. Mm -hmm. The world will accept you if you accept you. I love you. <laughs>